The storm is expected to rev up tonight, dropping heavy rain and some snow, but the big worry is the wind. News 13's Ashley Searles is live at Asheville Regional Airport. How serious are the wind concerns, Ashley? Well, with the high winds, the biggest concern is likely going to be travel. Whether your plans have you in the air or on the roads, you're going to be feeling this storm. At this point, it likely won't be the rain or the snow. It'll be the wind and the timing. It's never fun to have to work over the holidays, but our guys have done it several times. Since this morning, DOT crews have been working overtime, loading salt and sand trucks and getting plows ready. But primarily, the concern is wind damage. We'll make sure all of our chainsaws are ready, our backhoes, uh, loaders if need be, so that we can get the trees out of the road when they fall. Roads are expected to ice over and precipitation falling steadily could exacerbate already damaging wind gusts. Well, when they're talking 50 to 70 mile an hour wind gust, it could mean a lot of trees, especially with the ground being a little more damp, uh, get some uprooted trees. Duke Energy is expecting outages. They say scattered, not blanketed, but with strong winds expected to last into Saturday, outages could last for days, with crews unable to repair lines in winds higher than 40 miles an hour. It's going to be fairly cold tonight, and, and that could create some problems, particularly for kids or older people and not knowing how long the power may be out that could uh, also create some problems. The Buncombe County 911 Center is expecting more calls as the storm hits. We could have more people out, particularly if they're out shopping, and this, this high wind hits prior to, say, 11 o'clock tonight. Uh, people need to be careful and be observant. On one of the biggest travel weekends of the year, officials have the tough sell of saying stay put. I was watching the weather forecast. It looked like I was one step ahead of it. If you're flying out of town, no flights are canceled yet, but crews are ready, prepared to de-ice the runways. Thinking I'm ahead of the bad weather, kind of a little bit frightening, maybe not. Airport officials say the airlines will often wait till the very last minute to cancel flights. So if you or a loved one is flying this holiday season, you're going to want to be online. The best thing you can do is go to that airline's website and take a look at your flight status continually up to the point that you leave. In, at Asheville Regional Airport, Ashley Searles, News 13.